Hey, Jake, uh, Jack Campbell named to the All-Star uh, team last week. I'm just wondering, you'd been around him for quite some time in L.A., and for a guy that you know really took 10 years to establish himself as an NHL netminder, and now not only an All-Star, but I think really should be in a Vesna conversation, what have you made of his progression and how he's handled it and where he's at today? Yeah, he's, you know, he's battled his way to, to where he is. Um, you know, it's a testament to himself and to his belief in, in himself and, and uh, his work ethic. Um, you know, he deserves everything he's, he's got this year. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more happier for him. Next, go to Mark Masters with TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Jake, what was the commute like today? Well, it, it was a little different. Um, <laughs> Took a little bit more time than usual, but uh, it was quiet out there at least, so it wasn't too bad. Do you have to factor that in? Like when you wake up, did you know this was coming or did you fa you budget in some more time this morning? What was that yeah, like? Yeah, we started shoveling at um, probably 8.15 and didn't get out of the driveway till around, I don't know, 9.30 or so. So a little extra work this morning, but it wasn't too bad. What's it been like for you coming back from COVID, trying to get back up to top speed? It, it's it's been okay um you know the games are kind of spread out um right now so i think it'd be a little easier if they were kind of you know get back into a rhythm with, as, as a whole team as well i think we're you know a little, when we're getting that rhythm we're, we're flowing a little bit better but uh you know i think for the most part we're doing okay we'll go to kevin mcgram with the toronto star go ahead kevin Hey, Jake, uh, the other night, Timothy got his first goal. Uh, he was quite happy about that. But at the same time, he wasn't happy with how how he played. He didn't think he was really in sync with you all that much. What was your take on how? Yeah, I wasn't very good either. Um, yeah, I got to be better for him, for sure, especially an older guy. I may be trying to help out a younger guy, but I, uh, he was fine. I, I, most of it was on me. Um, but I'm very happy for him to, to get his first one and, you know, hopefully many more to come. Thanks, Jake. Yeah. What a David Alter with the hockey news. Go ahead, David. Hey, Jake, just following up on that, where do you think that is? Is that just because of the layoff that it affects everybody differently in terms of trying to find chemistry and getting up to speed? Is it just the, the quality of the opponent and the test that you guys had on this uh, four game road trip here? Yeah, I mean, it, there's a little bit of everything in there. Um, you know, long road trip, tough teams um new guys playing um coming off covid i mean there you could you know it's it's not your normal um uh, but a lot of teams are going through this um you know with with different road trips um different personnel in the lineup due to covid and what have you injuries and, and all that stuff so it's there's no excuse um you know you just got to keep on battling and just one last thing, uh, I believe it was on St. Louis' second goal. It looked like you took a pretty hard hit before the puck yeah. went in. Yeah. Was that just like a legal thing? Was it uh, like, what was your take on that situation there? I, I haven't really seen it yet. Um, but it, 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 it rocked me kind of pretty good a little bit. So uh, definitely uh, kind of startled me the rest of that shift for, for sure.